Sunday morning, everybody. It is Sunday morning. I don't think it's 9 a.m. yet. It's early um, ish. I sort of weaseled my way out of going to the airport with Bob and my dad. Uh, dad drove down from Washington State, leaving his truck here rather than pay for long term parking because he's got to go on a business trip, so. Um, and he does that often, just FYI. So Bob is taking him to the airport. I am out of breath <laughs> and turning gray. Um, <laughs> um, I am home, I'm doing the dishes and I'm currently watering the plants. This is Bob's little plant in his office. Uh, watering the plants, doing the dishes, folding laundry. Normal Sunday morning stuff for me. I do have to feed the sourdough starter this morning. And then once that sits for a couple hours, decide if I'm going to make some bread or not. Get the little plant watered without overflowing, hopefully. Um, and I think we're just sitting and relaxing today. We do have some stuff to do. So for those that don't know, my daughter and her fiance are having a sort of legal wedding ceremony next weekend. A week from today, actually, they're postponing the big celebration because of the worldwide situation with the pandemic and the protests and the rioting and everything. So that'll be actually a year from June. So instead of a big uh, ish wedding ceremony, they'll have a, another wedding, but it will be more of a celebration of their life and their love and their anniversary, one year anniversary. So, um, and then I think afterward, and they'll have that big party here and she'll wear the big white dress and it's gonna be beautiful. And then they're gonna fly off to Lithuania. Hopefully, hopefully we're not in the same situation we're in right now, but anyway, they'll fly off to Lithuania and they're gonna have a big um, thing over there with Polyus's family. So. Uh, Polyus is from Lithuania, for those that don't know. And uh, anyway, so I will be starting today of getting ready for that. We've got, Bob and I are responsible for bringing liquor next week. And so we got some things that we could get at the regular grocery store. But in Oregon, you have to get other kinds of liquor at the liquor store. So we're going to have to do that. And I am going to be live broadcasting the wedding for family who can't and shouldn't be here because of the pandemic and travel restrictions and all of that, including the Lithuanian family. So I was making a list earlier of equipment I'm going to need to bring with me, um, including tripods and the iPad mount because we'll be broadcasting with my Zoom app via my iPad and yeah, uh, yeah, so anyway, I'm hoping to get some stitching in, but we'll see. Right now, I'm going to finish with this and feed the starter and I'll be back. And it's 9.16 a.m. FYI. <laughs> I don't know, I've been up a long time. I mean, my hair's still in my bed hair, hairdo, so, you know, that's a thing. All right, I'll be back. guys good afternoon it's just before two o'clock on monday june 8th i think um i spent the morning getting all of the week's posts written for facebook gr art groups and all of well most of them i can schedule so i did that um i got the vlog edited i always make notes about what needs to be in the video description so i did that created a couple of new Etsy listings and here at the mailbox and it is full. I'm guessing one of these packages is the one that was missing over the weekend. Um, anyway, I got the vlog edited. I got it, um, got all the notes taken. I got the two new Etsy listings created. Um, now I need to prep uh, a couple things for my daughter's wedding on Sunday, which is supposed to be this small little 
little small legal ceremony is quickly turning into something I think other than what she wants. So I'm trying to just be encouraging and tell her whatever you want is fine. Yeah, anyway, I'm gonna check the mail. I'm gonna get inside, it's a little chilly. And we'll see where we go from here. Kind of depends on what's in the box. I'll be back. to share. I have such great friends. So my dear friend, Leslie McGrath, um, she sent me some more floss. Thank you, Leslie. Um, so that was great of her. So she sent me some more floss and threads. Yay, great colors. And then my friend Laura Gregane from Canada sent me some beautiful fabrics. Look at these. I think this one might work itself into the current slow stitch journal. It's definitely the right color of sort of a muted turquoisey blue. Um, and then she sent me this um, cardboard um, DIY um, floss spool, giant floss spool full of fiber. Look at this full of fibers, silks and wools and... Thank you, Laura. Um, they will all go to good use, ladies. I appreciate that very much. I also got some more sort of homespun gingham check fabric. Uh, what are these called? They're by Jubilee Fabrics. The pattern collection is called Whitewash and these are like a pre-cut quilt square. I, 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 of course, don't use them for that, but I have been using these in got my fabrics all laid out here. I have been using some of them in the slow stitch journal that I'm working on and um, I do like working with them. So I got some more of those. Those all came in today. Hey guys, it is Tuesday, May 9th, I think. It's about 12.55 p.m. just after lunch. And um, if you're watching this clip, you saw some clips of me upstairs. I'm making some more masks today. And I had a pillow that for years was in my bedroom on the bed. It was made out of leftover satin fabric from my wedding dress because um, I made my dress. Uh, I'll put a picture here <laughs> from the wedding somewhere. Um, and I took the leftover fabric and I made a pillow and I carried a linen handkerchief uh, during the wedding that was my husband's grandmother's. And um, she passed away before, right before we got married. And um, so I decided to take the pillow apart. It hasn't been on my bed, honestly, in years. And I took the handkerchief off and washed it. It's hanging here. And then this is the satin. Look how yellowed it is compared to the white of the washing machine. Um, a lot of the yellow came out of the handkerchief. Yeah, not so much on the satin. Didn't really expect it to, but that's okay. We are, all of it's washed and it's drying and I'll be using the satin in some slow stitches and my daughter is gonna be getting married. Um, and I'm gonna give her this to carry, so. Um, my project for today was getting that cleaned so now it can dry and then I can press it and then we're good to go I guess I better go finish the masks because they're not going to finish themselves 
And it's a little too early for me to take a chance and go to the mailbox because he hasn't been coming early, uh, rarely. So I'm going to go finish the masks and maybe by the time I finish that, he'll be here. I don't know. We'll see. All right, I'll be back. Okay, 20 more masks, done. Um, I also remembered, thanks to watching Lollipalooza's uh, video today about Etsy, and I'll link it below, um, where she talks about the costs of Et um, operating on Etsy, which are not cheap, and their off-site ads. You know, way back in April, I was supposed to opt my store out of off-site ads, and then the pandemic happened, and the protest happened, I forgot about it. So thankfully I went back and looked after watching her video and I can still opt out for those of you who have an Etsy store. And I'm gonna message Lolly later and let her know that I'm not sure if she knows or not. Um, it doesn't help a lot, but it helps a little bit with the cost. Um, I am wondering if I should finally move all of my store stuff over to my website, which I can do. But I'm going to have to compare costs and see which one is more cost effective. I don't know. I've also thought about not having a website. I know, right? I own the domain name, but yeah. Anyway, I don't know. guys it is Tuesday evening I almost said Thursday we won't get it we won't get into why I almost said Thursday but I almost said Thursday I think I said it was June 8th earlier but it's the 9th uh-huh I think so I'll, I'll I'll fix it in editing I don't know what day it is <laughs> I just know it's Tuesday we're headed out for our evening walk it's a little bit drizzly and damp so we're both bundled up I have my mask, but I'm guessing because it's kind of raining that there's not going to be any people out. But we'll see. I have one just in case. Um, that's it for right now. I already got all my slow stitching done for the day, but I might start on the little bunny tonight. We'll see. I'll be back. Good morning. It is Wednesday morning, 8.17 a.m. June 10th, I think. Yeah, June 10th. I had to count my head. Um, I got a lot of stuff to do today. Some of which requires me leaving the house again, which I'm not happy about, but what are you gonna do? Um, there's pine, little baby pine cones all over my car. Anyway, um, at least I remembered a mask this time because I've forgotten twice recently, which is bad. Um, you know, I guess I forgot for a hot second how early it was and that times have adjusted on when things are open because of the pandemic 
McCann's isn't open yet. Michael's isn't going to be either. So we're going to do the grocery store first and then just put things in cold bags. It's so weird that this is the new normal. All right, let's get it done. Good morning, everybody. It is just before 11 a.m. on Thursday, June 11th. Yes, I almost said January. There's a lot of cars behind me. Hang on. Got my dad's giant right, giant white Denali, which we're babysitting the car because he's out of town. And we took a first avenue. Is having his house painted and his workmen like parked their trucks in a way that make it not so much fun to get out of my driveway. All right, uh, got it. They sort of blocked me in. That's not actually very nice. So anyway, um, I got it. Um, so we are headed out. I need to go. I have an appointment, so that's like why I'm going out. I'm not just going out to go out because we don't do that right now, right? Because hello, COVID-19. Um, I'm going, I have an appointment to get my hair done. So we are open enough to do that. And I'm going to, of course, be taking all precautions. I have a paper mask with me because I am going to have my hair um, color worked on and I don't want to get right. matching my color to my natural color, which is a combination of dark brown and silver. Um, it's actually still a lot more dark brown than I thought it was, but um, she's going to be coloring it in a way that we can let it grow out. Um, and I don't have to see her as often. Not that I don't enjoy seeing her. It's not a money issue. It's a COVID-19 issue. So. Okay, guys. So we are back in the car. It took about two and a half hours to do my hair and you're looking at the tissue box on my dashboard right now um, I will right about here put in a picture of what my hair used to look like are you ready hold on so here we go this is a real me so she recolored it so that we can let the um, gray grow out and it is going to be very little if at all obvious. I have to use purple shampoo on my hair going forward every now and then. Um, those with gray hair know all about purple shampoo just to keep it from getting too brassy. And yeah, here we are. Um, I love it. And she cut a lot off. So that's as long as my hair is. And this is with it blown out. So when it's just left to go curly, it'll be a little bit shorter. So, but that's all good. So anyway, I'm going to go home now and eat some lunch because I am starving and it's well past my lunchtime. But what do y'all think? You like it or not? I'm good with it. Um, I know it makes me look older, but you know what? I am older. <laughs> I'm 57. Well, I will be 57 in August. So, you know, that's the thing. Anyway, all right, that's it for now. I'll be back. Good morning. It is still morning, technically. It is. 11.18 a.m. Friday, June 12th, I think. Um, yes. Yes, there you go. So we are obviously in the car. We've got all of our gear with us that we need, but we are in charge of evidently setting up the bar for the kids' wedding. And Fred's gonna be bartending. So, um, setting up the drinks and let people take what they want. There you go. I think we have most of what we need alcohol wise, but we need the mixers and a few other things that we didn't know we needed until like last night. So we're headed out to go take care of that uh, and get it done. But it requires going to two stores because in the state of Oregon, you can only buy beer and wine at the grocery store. So that's a thing. Yes. Anyway. the shady liquor stores for the others. Right? And they are shady. Yeah. So anyway, and there, what do y'all think of my hair? This is unstraightened from the, you know, hairdresser. She straightens my hair and this is just what it does by itself. 
I love the color. Uh, and I guess once in a while I'll have to wash it with purple shampoo to keep it from turning orange. That's going to be fun. Anyway, uh, hoping to get some stitching in later, but we'll see. I don't know. With the wedding being on Sunday, there's a lot to do between now and then, so we'll see. I'll be back. So we're out for our, our evening walk, late afternoon walk. It's about yeah, it's about five o'clock. We thought we'd have a walk before dinner. I got a bunch of stitching done as you saw, including working on a little journal. Um, I was inspired by a couple ladies in the Slow Stitch Facebook group. One showed a little, um, she called it a meditation journal. It was a paper junk journal and on each page 
she did a little small slow stitch and then glued it into the journal. So I did one of those pages today. I thought that was fun. And on that page, I thought to, sorry about that. The neighbors drove by and said, hi. Anyway, so I did on my little slow stitch junk journal page, I did a stitch or a practice doing a stitch, uh, a, a version of blanket stitch that I saw uh, another lady in the slow stitch group do. So I'll put a picture of the page that I did here somewhere. Um, did I do the blanket stitch the same way she did? No, it didn't quite turn out that way, but I do like how it did turn out. So I'll be working on that some more. I might add it to my other little slow stitch journal I'm working on. Anyway, I also made a little bag to hang off my little small handbag to hold my inhaler because I have one little small handbag I love, but I need to carry an inhaler with me. I'm an asthmatic, so anyway. I get tired of having it in my pocket. It keeps falling out. <laughs> so I've made a little bag and hung it off my purse. It works. Okay. All right, we're going to go walking. It's raining, so we're going to get some steps in before it drenches, and we'll Good be back. morning, everybody. It's technically still morning, I think. Oh, no, it's not either. It's 12.05 p.m. I'm going to do my best to vlog over the next couple of days, but it might be a tad challenging with the kids' wedding being tomorrow and all. Um, speaking of which, we're headed out to go do some last minute wedding shopping. Flowers. Flowers, and I think we might need to pick up some folding chairs and stuff like that. Um, see we'll see ya. We're meeting up with Rebecca and the maid of honor and the mother of the groom. Okay, so back in the car again, it is six, like 12 p.m. or something like that. And we spent the afternoon shopping with the kids for stuff they need for tomorrow for the wedding and hanging out with them at their, and the family at their house. Um, of course, not too many people um, are going to be there because hello pandemic. But uh, Polly's parents are definitely there, and their friend, Polly's family. yeah, Polly's immediate family, and their friend who's officiating. So it's all good. Uh, anyway, we have stuff to pack. We have all the liquor for tomorrow at our house. We need to gather some more chairs. We need to um, get speaker equipment together for some music. Um, I needed to pick up floral tape to work on floral arrangements in the morning and, 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 so yeah. Yada, yada, yada. Yeah, we're h going home now to get the piles together so in the morning we can just sort of grab stuff and go and we'll be back. Hey guys, we're back home and I think we're pretty much ready for tomorrow and the wedding and have everything together that we need to bring and... Well, the maid of honor, matron of honor is getting Rebecca ready. I need to work on flower arrangements in the morning. Um, I think we have everything together to do that. So I think we're good. Um, today, of course, um, has been a busy, crazy day, as will tomorrow be. But uh, my Etsy store has also decided to go crazy. And thankfully, I have... a. Uh, influx of decent size orders. Yay. Thank you, people. <laughs> I appreciate it so much. You don't even know. Um, anyway, I'm Noel. I'm mailing out your order on Monday, but it's ready to go. I'm taping it right now. Um, there are some things in the shop that are sold out right now, and but they, and they will be restocked at some point, but not right now. I will probably list Hold on, one more, one more tape roll. Okay, sorry. I will list, um, I will redo the listings for the stamp sets that are currently sold out and we will be allowing for reorders, um, but there'll be drop ship reorders from the manufacturer. So um, I'll be doing that next sometime next week. Uh, dental uh, reorders will be happening at a future date, but not right now. And um, I finally got my order in today. Is there an easy way to open this? Um, I guess not. Um, for, oh, yes, there is. Right, right in front of my face. Um, I ordered a slow stitch kit a long time ago um, from Australia. Um, it's what got me interested in this whole idea of slow stitching in the first place. And then from there, I went down the rabbit hole and found Anne Brooke and um, a bunch of other people. And anyway, I ordered this kit back in like March, I think. 
It just came in now. It's been at least two months. Um, anyway, I got it in today and I will be letting you guys know what I think. So yay, it's finally here. Um, they sent a very nice little postcard, so. It has been a crazy day. I will see if I can get any footage for you all um, of the wedding um, to share in next week's vlog, so stay tuned for that. Um, I may put a few little clips here at the end. Not sure now at the time of filming this, but you might want to stay tuned. And um, I think that's it for right now. So we're gonna, I'm gonna go downstairs. I need to have some more water. I need some chocolate. <laughs> And uh, I need to just chill for a bit and relax. And then tomorrow we'll be back at it. The kids will be married and it'll all be good. All right, that's it for now. I hope you've all had a great week and that you don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you're enjoying the content here on my channel. Oh, my makeup is just all over the place. Sorry, squirrel. Um, <laughs> don't forget to um, support the free content here on YouTube. Uh, and over in the Facebook art groups if you can, not only on my channel, but if you have a favorite creative or a favorite um, um, content creator uh, here on YouTube or um, in one of the Facebook groups, they probably have a way to support them, whether they have an Etsy shop or a PayPal tip jar or a Patreon or something else, check it out. And if, they're, if they have videos here on YouTube, they probably have it in their video description. If they're over on Facebook, you might need to message them. But in either case, if you can't figure it out, message them and do so. I have an Etsy shop and a Patreon and a PayPal tip jar and an Amazon affiliate. Like I have all that stuff. It's in the video description. Please check it out. I'd appreciate you supporting the free content. And if you have certain creative content you'd like to see, let me know what it is and we'll see what we can do. Um... That's it for the moment. Don't forget to stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative, and go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you later. Bye, guys.